sparked a massive fire at an oil refinery in West Tulsa. Crews spent the day assessing the damage to a tank at the Holly Corporation. That's just off of Southwest Boulevard. New on two, reporter Sarah Goldenberg found out that investigators are targeting lightning as the spark of that fire. Flames lit up the sky Friday night at the Holly Refinery after Tank 13 caught on fire. It's like those disaster shows you see where they got like, you know, on film and it's kind of just trippy seen in real life. The Holly Fire Department battled the blaze for hours and called the Tulsa Fire Department to stand by for assistance. All our guys on our job go through uh, uh, training with these type of fires, but hydrocarbons, uh, gas, um, it, pretty much we, do, we go over everything in our training academy, and we kind of come back for refreshers. So our guys are trained to fight fires as, as of this nature, and I'm pretty sure the Holly guys are too. Tim Smallwood uh, with Tulsa Fire says crews were able to contain the fire to just one tank. That tank contains slop oil and water. They got it surrounded. They're just trying to dump as much water on it to put the fire out. And that's what they're trying to do, kind of a surround and drown type application. Officials say no one was hurt and there were no evacuations. Now they're surveying the damage. The Holly Refinery processes 125,000 barrels of crude oil each day. It produces a wide variety of petroleum-based products. Nearby residents say they've seen worse fires in the industrial area before. They had a fire a few years ago on a tank farm a little bit further down, and it seemed to be, uh, it was similar, but uh, it was a, a much bigger fire, actually. But that doesn't make the sight of flames across the night sky any less spectacular or worrisome. I noticed the most was uh, that the, the flame would increase and then kind of decrease. And that's something to keep an eye on. Sarah Goldenberg, 2 News, works for you. Now, Holly Refining and Marketing released this statement to us this afternoon saying, quote, our first concern is for the safety of our employees, community, and the environment. Fortunately, we have had no injuries. All personnel are accounted for, and at this time, there is no threat to the community. We do not know the extent of the damage just yet. The white